Secretary, and thank you for being here. I know we had suggested it'd be great to have you, so it's good to see you in the same week we made that request. Um, starting with the situation in Del Rio, the mounted units are temporarily suspended. Um, are you considering eliminating them altogether? So we're going to um, we're going to take a look. Um, what we were focused on right now is addressing the urgency of the situation in Del Rio under that bridge. Uh, we are still getting through it. Uh, remember, as I mentioned uh, in response to the prior question, we still have operational needs across the border with respect to this uh, particular population of individuals. But we're going to be taking uh, a look at this. What the horse patrol is customarily used uh, to do for uh, everyone's benefit is, you know, horses are able to cross terrain that might not otherwise uh, uh, be traversed. And what they often do and in fact, most often do is assess the situation and actually assist in helping people in distress. And uh, that horse patrol, the horse patrol that the Customs and Border Protection employs, the Border Patrol specifically, has actually saved lives many times before. And but we will take a look. I just thought, uh, uh, because yours is such a sprawling department, you face multiple issues at once. The situation regarding Afghan refugees that are being processed by your department. We've had a few questions on that that haven't entirely been uh, answered. I'm just curious if you know how many cases of forced marriage or so-called child brides has DHS found in the system so far? To my, to my knowledge, uh, we have not found one, but I will tell you that we have experts at the airport and uh, beyond who understand um, that phenomenon very, very well who know how to detect the indicia, the signs of any such activity and are able to place people in secondary screening, uh, discern the facts, and make the decisions uh, that the facts so warrant. We are very skilled in that. Thank you, Mr.